Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. After a heroic 3-0 victory against Burnley, here we are against Fulham at Ivy Lane. Look at Stuart Holden's terrible hair. That guy needs a new name and a new haircut. Um, Ball John Green, other John Green, leading the charge. They are teammates in life and in love. And uh, today we're going to do Google Autofill, where I answer your questions, or I answer the most popular questions that Google uh, has been asked, beginning, is it wrong to... So we've done, is it okay to, now we're going to do, is it wrong to, so people who are nervous that something that they're doing or want to do might be wrong. Um, speaking of wrong, here is the starting lineup for Fulham. Boo. And here is the starting lineup for your Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers. We got Escargo and D Mother Flippin' Fox in the back. Uh, John Green and John Green up front, twice as Vice and French the Lana out on the wo 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 wings. All right, is it wrong to? Is it wrong to ask your boyfriend for money? Um, I mean, I guess it depends on the context and also the amount of money. Like, I think it's wrong to ask your boyfriend for a million dollars, but I don't think it's wrong to ask your boyfriend for like three bucks. Why isn't there? Is it? Why isn't there a question about is it wrong to ask your girlfriend for money? I used to ask my girlfriends for money all the time. I remember what? What? Where was the foul? Clear it! For the love of God! Okay, there was no foul there. That was that was a terrible call by the referee. Um, I, I didn't even hit a button, I don't think. It can't be a foul until, until and unless I hit a button. That's a rule. Um, uh, yeah, so I used... When I was, uh, when I was a younger man... I once I once took a date out. I'll just tell you her name. Her name was Mary. I took a date out to Friendly's. Um, come on. That was frustrating. I needed to hit the Y button a little faster. I took a date out to Friendly's. Oh, that's not a foul. Other John Green just turned his back to the guy and kind of like rubbed up against him a little bit. That's not a foul. That's, that's like it, it, on the dance floor. That's not even considered flirtatious. Um, I took a girl out to Friendly's and... Uh, I then tried to pay with my credit card, but my credit card was declined, and so she had to pay for the meal, and we dated for three, that was our first date, and we dated for three years, so sometimes it's good to ask a girl for money, because otherwise, you're going to be washing dishes at friendlies. Um, What's next? Is it wrong to be friends with your ex? Uh, No, but it's also not right to be friends with your ex. Like, I don't... I don't think either is necessarily like the best plan all the time. I think it really it's really situational. Um, I think it really depends on like who you are, who you're Oh, we just needed one more dribble. Who your ex is, you know, what the relationship is, what the nature of how long it lasted, all that stuff. Because in some ways the more serious a romantic relationship is, the more difficult it is to really be be quote unquote friends with your ex because you can never quite put aside the all the the baggage of the romantic relationship. Um, so I, I I mean I think it it really does vary. Um, you know, like Sarah and I Sarah and I dated briefly and then we were friends for a long time. But like that friendship was all off the post. That friendship was always charged. That would have been French the Lana's first goal in a long time. I think I don't know if that was him actually. It wasn't, but whatever. It would have been someone's goal other than a John Green. Oh, we just needed a better through ball there. Um, I still like the way the Swoodly Poopers are playing. I like I like the energy. I, I, I don't really like the fact that Ball John Green is inexplicably playing defense. But other than that, I like everything. Um, that wasn't our best defensive work there. There we go. There we go. Take it out of the back, Swoodly Pooper style. There we go. There we go. That's Swindon Town Swoodly Pooper football right there. Oh, there's no finish, though. Oh, everything was perfect except for the finish. There was great back and forth by other John Green and Ball John Green. That's when you see That's when you see how much it matters to be married to your strike partner, um, where you just, you just know each other so well that you don't even have to ask the question of where that person's going. Oh, it's a nice cross. Oh, hit the post. All right, what's next? Is it wrong to check your girlfriend's phone? Yes. Yes. I mean, you got to have some trust and some privacy in a relationship. I think people people deserve their privacy and if you abuse that privacy, you're 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 really 
you're not being a cool boyfriend is what it comes down to. Um, that's basically like that lack of trust, that sort of obsessive, that, that, start, that stuff starts to make me very nervous. I think, it's, I think it's basically really problematic. And you need to ask questions of yourself about what's going on with you if you're feeling this need to check your girlfriend's phone all the time. Um, because that, I think, in the end, says potentially a lot more about you or at least about your relationship than it says about your girlfriend. And notice that it didn't say it's wrong to check your boyfriend's phone, which I think speaks to the patriarchy. Okay. Is it wrong to date your cousin? Um, well, I mean, first off, what kind of t cousin are we talking about here? Because if we're talking about like a seven cousin three times removed, then no. If you're talking about a first cousin, it's a little bit problematic. Um, there's some legal issues, first off, at least in a lot of states. Oh, not a great cross. We just needed to slow down a little. We got to be patient. The Swoodly Pooper is not known for their patience. It looks Right now, it looks like potential another nil-nil draw, which is the Swoodly Pooper special. But we're trying, to, we're trying to reinvent. We're trying to be a different team this year, the 2016-2017 Swoodly Poopers. Oh, oh, it was perfect, except the pass was off. Look at beautiful Bob John Green, his mustache, his nice-looking blue boots. Um... Yeah, I mean, there's an increased risk of birth defects, and uh, if you if you were to procreate with your cousin, um, and you know, dating sometimes does result in, in in that. Um, yeah, you know, it's got its problems. What's next? Is it wrong to eat meat? Uh, I think the way that we eat meat these days is is really problematic. Um, you know, the whole the sort of like factory farming. Um, the disconnection from the the animal that you're eating, the lack of understanding of what goes into meat production, making it sort of emotionally easier to uh, to eat lots and lots and lots of meat. I think we eat a lot more meat than we need to, certainly, um, and I find that problematic. Um, but I think to say uh, that it's always wrong to eat meat kind of encourages this this dualistic worldview that I think is bad in the end for overall meat consumption by humans, um, the dualistic worldview of you are either a meat eater or you are a vegetarian. Um, and meat eaters eat meat at every meal and vegetarians never eat meat. Well, the truth is if you eat meat once a month instead of never, it's almost as good for the environment and the overall like health of the ecosystem um, that as eating meat zero times a month. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in trying to minimize the amount of, of overall meat that is eaten in the United States and, and in the developed world by, um, or I should say the industrialized world, I guess, um, by, by kind of changing the, the, the discourse about that. I'm not as interested in like absolutes about saying it's always wrong to eat meat or it's never wrong or whatever. Husband to husband, ball John Green with a beautiful goal. John Green's John Green's ball, another John Green's. They're the best forwards that Swindon Town has ever seen. What a fantastic finish. He's, he's a finisher. Look at it. Kablowie finishing. And then the, the perfect cross. He knows exactly where his husband is going to be. Ball John Green creates just enough space from his defender, and then he puts it in the back of the net in the 71st minute. That is Swindon Town Swoodley Pooper football, and I, for one, love it. We've, had, we've hit the post today. We've had a great run uh, that resulted in a one-on-one -on -one in the goalie. Do not call a foul on me for a... That is a prototypical Christian side hug, which as previously established is not a foul. I'm sorry. We haven't been doing enough uh, Google autofilling. What's next? Is it wrong to fantasize? Um, fantasize about what? Like, is it wrong to fantasize about the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers winning the Barclays Premier League? No. No. I think it's very helpful. Is it wrong to fantasize about getting a book published? No. I don't know what kind of fantasies this question is referring to. Um, just kidding. I do know. It's referring to sexual fantasies. And I feel really bad that, like, people... Uh, don't feel oh, like they don't feel e even comfortable enough with their sexuality to experience that sexuality like in the privacy of their own minds. Um, that's quite sad. Of course, there's nothing wrong with there, no. There's nothing wrong with um, you know thinking. That's that's a very that's that that's sad to me. No, it is not wrong to fantasize. It's good to fantasize. It's healthy. It's a good, important, healthy part of being alive and like figuring out 
what you like and stuff, which is important. Um, I probably should hit the Y button there. We would have had it. Oh, no. Oh, look at this new Swoodly Pooper defense. They just, they just swarm. They're faster. They're stronger. And we know how to hold the ball a little bit better. Oh, this is great stuff. Great stuff from the Swindon. Yes. 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 Oh, I love every second of it. This is my fantasy come true. Oh, no! we almost had a great goal there. Oh, just got blocked. That was definitely going in. Oh, this is fantastic stuff. I'm sorry. What's next? Is it wrong to get a tattoo? It depends on what it's a tattoo of. If it's a tattoo of bald John Green embracing other John Green, that's not wrong. Uh, no, I don't think it's wrong to get a tattoo. Look at our opponents smell their pits in shame. We only won one nil, but it was an overwhelming performance from the Swoodly Poopers. I'm proud of the boys. Other John Green, it's great stuff. Uh, look at S. Cargo. He's proud. Bald John Green's beautiful mustache. Stuart Holden's terrible haircut. It's awesome. Thank you for watching. Best wishes.